I'm Kate, I'm one of the osteopaths at the Perimac Clinic. Um, I've just put together a simple 10 minute all body workout you can do in the comfort of your own home. Um, you don't need any fancy equipment, just a couple of cans, a bit like this, uh, to add a bit of extra weight. Uh, you can use um, some wine bottles to make it a bit more challenging, or some water bottles, um, and possibly a chair for a bit of balance, but apart from that, that's all you'll need. Um, so we're gonna I'm going to start by just doing some mobility work for your shoulders. So we're going to start by doing some shoulder rotations. So just draw some big circles with your arms, with your shoulders. And try and draw a big circle with your elbows. <laughs> My shoulders are clicking. And back the other way. Get them nicely warmed up, nicely mobile. A couple more of those. And then we're going to warm up our backs. So we're going to side bend one way and then rotate across our bodies and then flex down. And then the other side. So side bend, rotate and then flex down and then the other side again. Side bend, rotate across and flex. And last one. And the next one you'll need your weights, so choose your weights. And what we're gonna do is just hold them in the palm of our hand and we're gonna just lift from the sternum, keep our shoulders soft, and we're just gonna just squeeze our shoulder blades together. I'll just show you from the side as well. So keep your shoulders nice and down and just squeeze. couple more. And next one we're going to just bring your shoulders to 90 degrees and your elbows to 90 degrees. We're going to start in this position and then we're going to rotate our shoulders up this way, then up to the ceiling, back down and rotate back to the original place. So that again, rotate, up to the ceiling, back down, and rotate. Let's do a couple more. Up to the ceiling and back down. And the last one for shoulders, we're just going to do some lateral raises. So you want your thumbs facing up and your arms are just going to be slightly further uh, 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 forward. So the kind of the plane is kind of rather than being here, it's more like kind of just here, slightly forward in your body, from your body, about 30 degrees. And we're just going to raise up to about 90 degrees. Nice and slowly. couple more. So moving on to hips and lower body, um, we're going to be doing some hip mobility work uh, to start with um, and we're going to be taking our hips uh, through all of their ranges of movement. So you might want a chair to support yourself a little bit but we're going to first of all take your hip into flexion, then out to the side and then internally rotate, extend back and come back into flexion. And then we're going to go the opposite way. So we're going to go back into extension. And make sure when you're doing these movements that the movement is coming from your hip joint and not your back. So you don't need to be kind of bending your back too much. It's all coming from lower down. Externally rotate and back in. 
and then what I would do is do a few on that side and then switch to the opposite leg. So again, we'll go into flexion, out to the side, internally rotate, and out into extension, and back up again. And then the opposite way, so extend, externally rotate, and bring it back in again. And again, do a few of those on that side as well. And next one, we're gonna be doing some squatting. So you want to maybe use your chair as a marker of how uh, low down you're squatting. It's perfectly reasonable to do some shallow squats as well, but the idea is rather than when you're squatting is rather than just dropping straight down, is to try and reach for a chair, try and stick your bottom out and reach as though you're about to sit down. So I'll do a few of these. So see how low you can go down, stick your bottom out, reach for the chair and come back up again. Nice and controlled and slow it down. Just do a couple more of this side and then we'll add a, a few leg movements to it as well. One more. And then we'll do some more squatting but this time what we're going to do is just add in some leg movements as well to make it slightly more complicated and more challenging. So you're going to go down into your squat and then kick your leg out. And what the mus muscle grip we're working is here, so you want to feel it right in the side of your hip joint here. So that's again, so you squat down and kick your leg out to the side. And then the other side. So squat down and kick out. And one more. So I've done five either side, you might want to do a few, few more than that, um, but I'll go on to the last one. Again, we're going to go down to a squat, but this time we're going to kick backwards. So we'll squat down and then extend and squat. And again, like before, all the movements coming from your hip and your bottom muscles rather than your back. And one more that side. And then the other side. And that's it.